So we've been talking a lot recently on the channel about in-ears, setting up in-ears, choosing in-ears, deciding on what kind of monitoring system you want to use. And there's a lot of really great options out there, and there are some options that are better than others. But one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video is the cheapest, most inexpensive way to get up and running with in-ears. Now, I wanna stress, this is the cheapest, most inexpensive way of using in-ears. It's not the best. That is, of course, unless the best possible way for you to use in-ears is the cheapest way, you get the point. Okay, and the way that we are doing this is we're using this guy right here. This is the Behringer PowerPlay H8 8000. Now what this essentially is, is a headphone amp. And so what it can do, at least uh, the way Behringer describes it and markets it, uh, is you have two sets of main inputs here. So uh, both Syria main input one, main input two. You could feed these with uh, individual mixes, so two individual mixes. Uh, and then you get a phone's output on the back, plus a headphone output on the front. And you get eight individual controls here. So uh, at that level, the most basic level, we could send two mixes to this and 16 different people should could share that mix. Now, the 16 different people have to share volume control, right? So uh, for seven here, if I adjust this for the person on the front, it's also going to the back. So that's not a great particular setup. Um, but there's a kind of hidden secret on this that I don't think a lot of people know. In fact, um, uh, I didn't know about this till a few years ago. A buddy of mine, Kayo, said, hey, did you know about that direct input? And I'm like, what are you talking about? So if we flip this over, let's look at the back here. So we have our phone's output. Uh, again, we have this main input here, but on each one of these channels, we have a direct input. So what that means is we could uh, directly connect eight separate mixes to here and then use this as our headphone amp to uh, give us a little more volume, turn down a little more volume, uh, to send this to each member of the band on stage and vocalists as well too. So in order to make that happen, here's what we would do. First on the back of uh, the device here, where it says direct input, what we're gonna do is take an output from our console. And now that may be a like XLR output like this that we would plug into an aux output, that's, that's possible. Or it may be a balanced TRS output that goes into an aux uh, you know, out on our console. We're gonna plug that in first. Then we're gonna take the other end of our cable and on the other end of this, we need this to be a TRS cable, right? And we're gonna plug this into one of our direct inputs here. So headphone amp one, I connected aux one from my console to this. Okay. And then I would go through and say aux two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if I have eight auxes. And these are going to be eight separate mixes for each person in the band. Now on the front panel here for mix one, um, this is disabled. I'm not using this because this is, do I want mix one or two? It's using the direct mix. I want to hit mono because I'm using a mono mix, right? Uh, and then I can use this output uh, level here to adjust my output. Uh, I can see visually an indication on here. So we could do our main section here or we can send mono signals to this using the direct uh, in on the back of our uh, power play here to get eight individual channels for each of our band members now in addition to this we're also going to need a headphone extension cable so I'll, I'll link this up but we're going to essentially want a quarter inch cable that's going to go to our phone's output uh, to an eighth inch cable that will go to that and then that would allow us to take our in-ears like this and plug these into this cable, okay? So what I've got essentially then is my in-ears, an extension, uh, this cable that is TRS and XLR on the other side, or based on your console, the console I have here is an example. This is a Allen & Heath Mix Wizard. Um, this is just TRS cable to TRS to connect that. But with that, you get, again, the most inexpensive way to set up in-ears for your band. You get separate mixes as long as you send it separate mixes. Um, one of the downsides, the thing I don't love about this, is this is gonna stay put and you're just have really long cables coming off of this that's not the end of the world um it it's very inexpensive again we buy one of these as opposed to a lot of individual headphone mixers but what's really great uh is you can get this uh, have the cables running across stage if you're okay with that. Everyone has their own separate mix. So that's the most inexpensive way to set up a personal monitoring system, or in this case, a in-ear mix system for your band. Instead of doing wireless, instead of buying a P16 mix or something like that, this is the most entry-level way to get started. Again, not the best, but the cheapest, most inexpensive way to get started. So if you want to learn more about performing on stage, using Ableton Live on stage, uh, I post a new video every single day on this channel, 10 a.m. Central. Uh, make sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content. And you'll learn a lot about things like this and having a great performance and a great setup on stage. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.